All right, on to our weekly feature, Smart Farm. And small-scale farmers in semi-arid parts of the country are now turning to climate-smart technologies to reduce losses in vegetable farming. The technologies include cone gardens, shade nets, and biopesticides. Let's get more from our very own Dennis Utiano in this week's Smart Farm. Smart Farm, brought to you by Equity. Bustika from Equity ensures that you don't get stuck when low on cash. So, next time you're sending money, making payments or buying airtime using Star 247 Hash, Equitel or Equity Mobile app and you have insufficient funds, simply accept the Bustika prompt and complete your transaction. In this remote village in Machakos County, these farmers are in the process of installing an innovative solution to support production of their vegetables. The farmers from two groups are setting up corn gardens, a type of vertical farming method that creates gardens stacked on each other. The corn gardens are used to grow a wide range of vegetables. Tulianza kupanda mboka kama spinach, sukuma wiki, Pia tuko na imradi ya kupanda miti kama miembe, avocado, tuko na miti kama nguruvelia, tuko na miti ya kutengeneza, na yeta kama ni dimu, tuseme hivo. Kwa za utu likuwa tunapanda kwa njia ambayo, sio visuri sana, atukuwa tuna, tunapanda vile inastaili, kama mboka tulikuwa tunapanda mingi kwa sehemu moja, lakini tulikuwa na usaidisi mwingi kutoka kwa the farmers are part of beneficiaries of a regional 9.2 billion shillings or roughly 60 million US dollars World Bank funded project on adoption of climate smart technologies in Kenya, Ethiopia, Ghana, Senegal, Mali and Zambia. Climate change comes with a lot of opportunities. For a very long time it has been a big challenge managing variability. But we thought that uh, if farmers are able to manage variability very well, then it prepares them adequately to manage climate change, which is, which is now here with us. The gardens made from arranging soil in a conical shape using polythene sheets and recycled paper are efficient in water and nutrient usage. Corn gardens are also being used to address the increasing demand for vegetables as they take advantage of space upwards. Corn gardens are basically steep hills surrounded by circular terraces. So that resembles what they have ordinarily on their farms. Because terracing is a historical way of conserving soil and water here. So corn gardens mimic their situation at home. Horizontally, they may not have a lot of land to produce a lot of vegetables, but there is a lot of space in the air, which is what the corn gardens are, are taking advantage of. The three-year project initiated in 2021 comes at a time when several parts of the country have experienced some heavy rains of late. The technology is critical in adapting to climate effects, including El Nino rains. One of the uh, biggest changes that we see right now is that the farmers have embraced the utilization of climate information services in as far as they can inform their agricultural decisions. The farmers have now realized that you do not have to plant maize to, to be able to eat maize. They have realized that if the weather at a particular time necessitates you to grow a different crop, like a vegetable, and that climate at that point does not support maize, they can grow the vegetables and money from these vegetables and then use that money to buy the maize that is a staple here. The farmers were also trained on other technologies, which include use of shed nets and biopesticides. In particular, they will learn how to service land, use biochemicals correctly, as well as knowing how and when to plant. When you use a shed in it, it avoids that direct sunlight which hits the crops which are planted there. Then what happens after reducing that heat? It also reduces wilting because when crops are planted direct 
through the sunlight, they wilt. So the shed net will help in reducing wilting. The other thing it will do, it will conserve moisture. Because there is no, not that direct sunlight, evaporation will be low. That means conservation will be, water will be conserved. The other thing, this shed net will be able to address the problem of predators. Predators here are birds. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm. Smart Farm, brought to you by X.